So, Perceptron is beautiful and extensible in a separable case, but what does happen in non-separable case? Um, let's talk about it in this little um, episode of our lecture. So, I wrote a Perceptron algorithm, stochastic Perceptron algorithm, and um, uh, I will make the code available for you after you turn in your homework uh, because uh, it's one of the tasks. And um, I generate step-by-step -step solutions here. So this is one uh, solution as you see. We start with a separable case uh, with just four points and this is our current W solution. So we initialize W randomly and this is our separating hyperplane. Separating hyperplane places this point um, in, on one side and this three points on the other side doesn't work then it considers mm, this uh, point as misclassified, moves the solution, considers the next point as misclassified, moves the solution, so this rounded point is a misclassified point. And in many, many iterations, or just a few actually, uh, given that it's only four points, it converges to something that solves the problem. Separate example works like that, uh, so I, <laughs> deliberately was looking for something that gives me a uh, longer solution for this very very toy uh, problem toy example most solutions are very short uh, randomly initialized correctly or just took two steps and converged and remember all of that w k plus one remember the step four equals wk no learning rate nothing just take a misclassified point, xk, and just go into that direction, you know, vector sum. So, those are different runs for exactly the same problem. And depending on, depending on the uh, random initialization, number of steps the algorithm takes various but it surely converges to a solution okay what happens if the case is non-separable if the case is non-separable linearly non-separable it's here look at this example or uh, this is an actual run for 100 steps, 100 iterations, uh, go from 1, 2, 3, and then go down. Uh, if you want to see how the algorithm uh, worked. So, circle is a point that the algorithm considered next as the next misclassified sample. Uh, this is a classical example uh, called XOR, um, so exclusive OR problem, because if you put access on that, this point will be 0, 0, this will be uh, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Um, and um, if you uh, give the labels to the class, that 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 should return 0, 0, 0 should return 0, yet 0, 1, or 1, 0 should return 1. So, or would return a 1 here as well, but exclusive or returns a 0, so that's why exclusive or problem. Um, when the case is non-separable, the algorithm will run indefinitely. The perceptron, the original perceptron algorithm, that's what you see on the screen, one possible run um, uh, on a non-separable case, it just continues running and running and running and never uh, converges because there is not a solution. Well, a uh, simple toy problem, not a surprise. We see that just by naked eye that this case, this case is not linearly separable. Of course, it will not be able to do it, but um, Marvin Minsky and Seymour Papert uh, caused an AI winter by publishing this uh, Perceptron's book where they, uh, among other many, many other things, uh, proved that theorem that Perceptron is unable to separate Mm, lots of the cases and uh, 
for the next however many years, decade or two, uh, people didn't know what to do about it, and um, yeah, it wasn't funded as much in the academic circles in the United States. Well, we're not talking about Europe now, but in, in the United States for sure. But um, what we usually encounter in, in practice looks like that. It's not as toyish as um, exclusive or problem. Uh, and something that we can tolerate, okay, if we misclassify the sample, it's not a problem, it's okay, right? Uh, can we still find uh, a separating hyperplane? So if uh, we change our um, original criterion, so the top one here is an our original perceptron criterion, and if we change that criterion with the mean squared, squared error, and then just differentiate and practically um, do gradient descent uh, on the MSE yeah, until convergence, and then we should be able to uh, solve uh, uh, the problem. And why didn't we start from that uh, like completely? Why did we need anything else? And this is coming to the practical question of choosing the right loss for the problem. Uh, it turns out that least mean squares um, error is not guaranteed to find the solution, even if one exists, um, like in this example. Um, so we'll talk about more about least squares in um, our next lecture, and um, it, will, it will be as fun as this one. Um, take home points is um, linearly separable um, or, um, many classification problems or many classes of classifiers um, can be reduced to linear classifiers and linear classifiers among many um, include perceptron as a subset um, of classifiers support recognition can also be a linear classifier and we still use it because it's very powerful even in the separable or non-separable but linear case but uh, about that later um, so that perceptron, what you need to understand and to learn um, uh, from this lecture is about the geometry of the space, that it's very good to be able to understand and visualize and have an intuitive feel of the geometry of the space. Then you will see what the algorithms inventors are doing, like in the relaxation procedure, say, or uh, like in the margin uh, introduction to the perceptron. And, um, then you can yourself solve your problem by um, following your in geometrical intuitions about the data set. That's the main point of this lecture. And also, um, the, like, just pay attention to the proof um, technique. Uh, you don't need to memorize that or to kind of, you know, have, like, remember that, uh, just remember it exists. Um, and. Um, you just need to um, kind of understand the steps of the proof, and this proof will help you to solve your homework or uh, to understand your homework. Uh, pay close attention to the situation when the points are close to the final solution. But unfortunately, as with many theoretical uh, things, you can only uh, see that once the solution been approached uh, and um, well about that later thanks and uh, talk to you in class